In this lecture, we would understand the case study of Indore city in India. Now, this city is one of the cities which has become the cleanest city for the fifth consecutive year. It is also turned into a water surplus city and is the one of the cities that generates income from the waste which is produced. Now, the success of Indore solid waste management system is very very crucial to understand in order to have this model being implemented across the globe we have seen that by 2050 it is believed that india would be generating nearly 5.4 lakh tons of waste solid waste than that it produces today so it would be a significantly higher proportion of waste that would be generated uh, across India and therefore if we have a model where waste can be turned into useful means it would be a substantial way. Now this case study is a very important case study you can also uh, include this case study in numerous answer writings as well. Now what is the basis? Indoor on an average has a collection of a significant amount of uh, waste from household industry and commercial establishments. The household and the commercial establishments pay a certain amount for this uh, this waste generation it is rupees 3 per kg for commercial establishments around 60 to 150 rupees per household depending amount uh, depending upon the average amount of waste generated per month and then uh, the concept is rather having open dustbins across the city there would be mobile composting vans which would be located closer to the points for example Chappan Dukan is one of the street food markets and near there you have a uh, mobile composting van now this mobile composting van would be immediately using the waste uh, the wet waste which is produced and this decomposting machine would decompose and this decomposed would be easier to transport also uh, Indore has become clean city in line with its effort of door to door collection so door to door collection is one of the major ways through which Indore Municipal Corporation IMC has been actually earning. It has been able to create nearly 8 crore uh, rupees annually by converting the waste into bio CNG. So compost is being created and this is being used as fuel to run the city buses itself. So definitely a role model. It lies in the state of Madhya Pradesh. So here is where the indoor is and it has nearly 8500 sanitary workers who are employed across three different shifts which works nearly 22 hours every day nearly uh, 550 ton of a new plant is yet to be established and it is believed with this establishment of a single plant the income of the indoor municipal corporation can jump up to 10 crores annually also there are nearly 700 different vehicles with six different compartments to segregate the waste at source and then there is segregation of wet waste and dry waste also indore has turned out to be a water surplus city how the khan saraswati uh, the khan saraswati river as it is called as this river has been one of the major rivers across the city and it has nearly there are nearly 25 big and small drains pouring in and the sewage water getting poured in so nearly 1746 public and nearly 5624 uh, domestic outfalls had been reported across the river which are now being uh, stopped and this release of sewage drain being stopped has created the city as a water surplus city again a record when it comes to solid waste management which is one of the major case studies that we are understanding it runs on a PPE, ppp based model so it's public private partnership model you have various ngos which are supporting the cause there are three important ngos working with indoor municipal corporate in terms of collection of garbage from household and numerous households by paying nearly rupees 2.5 per kg of the waste to the house owners they have been able to collect the waste also there have been establishment of a uh, wet waste segregation unit and dry waste segregation unit the dry waste segregation unit which is marked as blue the wet waste is marked as green now this dry waste unit is ai powered robotic um, 
um, uh, technology is used to segregate three important components. One is glass, the other is metal and the other is plastic. The plastic is then processed and sent to the cement plant at Neemach and also the Madhya Pradesh Ro Rural Road Work Department. So this plastic is being procured by the cement plant and for road formation. So this plastic, the income goes in directly. The hazardous waste from the domestic units or the commercial units is sent, is incinerated and is done as per the central uh, hazardous waste management rules. Okay. Now the indoor uh, city itself generates nearly 1115 million tons of garbage per day so that is the amount of garbage which is generated per day the city of indore is divided into 19 different zones and 85 different wards and each of them have commercial establishments on an average there are 6000 households per ward and there are nearly 600 commercial establishments and all of this are covered under under 100 percent door-to-door -door collection system so this door-to-door -door collection system has actually boosted the process of waste collection now the wet waste is collected through the door-to-door -door collection system and is converted into the bio cng which is used to run the um, municipal vehicles which is used to run the city buses and is used for many other purposes now how does it happen all the vehicles are gps powered the idea is none of the vehicles should be able to uh, mismatch the location and all of them are tracked through and through also as soon as the waste reaches the central processing unit the weight the waste is weighed to check that there is no um, no uh, amount which is being stolen as a part of the final process which is uh, created there is a weightment bridge facility which is available at the central processing unit and this weighs all the incoming vehicles at a single go so bulk collection system works efficiently also the waste wa the dry waste and the wet waste are segregated as we said wet waste comprises nearly 58 percent dry waste around 41 percent the dry waste is the bio the waste which is not biodegradable so it is a kind of recyclable or non-recyclable waste which could be combustible or could be only meant for incineration purpose so once there is 100% door-to-door -door collection and storage the city is next trying to keep it a bin free city and all the litter bins in the commercial areas would be fixed there would be mobile composting vans which would be closer to the source itself that would reduce use the co cost significantly the waste collection would be taken to the transfer stations where this uh, whole process would be uh, done and there could be a huge amount which could be actually collected uh, from the property tax and the user fees which can be used in this whole process and uh, finally helps to generate an income now there is another important plant which is the biomethanation plant what is this and where it is important the Ram Mandi, which is the biggest wholesale market in this region for the vegetable and the fruit has a capability to generate 20 to 25 million tons per day of waste for the perishable fruits and vegetables. Now this would be sent to the biomethanation plant where 95% pure methane would be created and this would be utilized for a daily basis bio CNG production. There would be a ultra separation unit which would be uh, filtering the waste and this can be further used for various purposes. It is believed that daily whatever uh, is produced only through the Choti Ram Mandi, uh, the waste produced by Choti Ram Mandi is enough to drive 15 city buses in Indore. So that is definitely a revenue boosting and a revenue generating model. The next is the problem of trash emergency in India. So under the National Green Tribunal Act, it was laid down that clean environment is a fundamental right under Article 21. So under Article 21, it is the local body as the state and the state that ensure public health is preserved by taking all possible steps. So uh, any financial inability cannot be pleaded either by the state or by the local authorities. Now, any city which is a population of more than 1 lakh or has basically uh, produced 44% of the waste of the, uh, uh, the region is answerable to 
द लोकसभा इन दिस रिगार्ड्स सो एन जी टी नेशनल ग्रीन ट्रिब्यूनल एक्चुअली सेज दैट देर हैज़ टू बी द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट रूल्स ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन एंड be it the local body be it the municipal body which does not comply to it would be liable for a specific amount of fine to be charged against that body so under uh, the clean environment it is considered as a fundamental right of citizen under article 21 uh, and it is the requirement of the local body or the state to make sure that financial inability cannot be pleaded and all possible measures are taken to protect the health of the public so that is about one of the major case studies of indore now case studies like these are extremely important you can substantiate these case studies in your right answer writing in your examination and also when you are citing down your research projects you have to take into light some of the development markers through which we have an idea where other cities can follow these as a role model and perform a uh, much more streamlined work for ke- keeping the cities clean. and maintaining a solid waste management model which can even be a revenue generating model for the city we would be covering many such interesting case studies in upcoming lectures stay tuned wish you very good luck for your examination